go ahead. I actually stayed for Abu Mazen's speech in the United Nations. I was uh, naively hoping that there would be some new messages, probably some window of opportunities for future negotiations. After three or four minutes I was actually taking notes and I realized that the main message is that the Israeli soldiers deliberately kill Palestinian children and us, the settlers, are armed militias supported by Israeli government in order to chase the Palestinians. Well, I've had enough and I unfortunately had to leave the hall. I will tell you frankly, I am not sure what the, the new possibilities are or the, the future possibilities are. We already are studying the quartet proposal. I hope that they could be the basis for the renewal, the start of the negotiations. But at the same time, the spirit of a Muslim speech, basically it's like going back in time machine some 30 years, hearing all this Palestinian propaganda of the 70s. I'm not sure that he's in the state of mind for the real restart of negotiations. His desperate desire to somehow get away from the negotiations just shows once again, again and again and again, that he's not ready to recognize the, the state of Israel as the state of the Jewish people, not ready to recognize our right to exist, and definitely is not ready and capable of any compromises in order to make any progress in the future negotiations. That's why he's looking for every possible pretext or precondition to avoid sitting down with Prime Minister Netanyahu and starting talk. And do we feel at this point that we have enough support in the Security Council to prevent them well, from from, get, from gaining um, membership to the United Nations? Well, I think that it's quite clear from the developments of the last several weeks that uh, we gained enough international support. Many prominent world leaders said loud and clear to the Palestinians that uh, the road to peace actually goes through Ramallah and Jerusalem and not through New York and the United Nations. That was exactly our message and uh, I hope that at this stage there is enough international support for the Security Council and if not, God forbid, then there is the American veto to prevent the Palestinians from taking any uh, real unilateral steps in the United Nations. Great.